What's going on YouTube? Snake out here back at you with another video and I'm going to keep it short. We're going to be talking why I think, in my personal opinion, why white lip pythons are the snake to get in 2023. Let's go. All right, YouTube, welcome back to the video. Like I said, I am the Snake Eye. My name is Dre, and this is my white lip python, Aurora, right here. And these guys, at least from where I'm standing, just seem to have become more and more popular. I know I've been getting a lot of questions about them, and a lot of people asking me about Aurora, about her care, and where they can get one. So I just wanted to kind of go over a few things um, so you guys have that information. Um, now, as far as why I think they've become so popular, it's just simply because I think people are finally starting to appreciate their beauty. I don't know if you guys can, hopefully the camera's picking that up, but just the shimmer, that pure, beautiful iridescence is just, is really, really nice. And it's honestly, one of my, in my opinion, one of the prettiest snakes that you can get on the market. I know there's some snakes that are, some people think are prettier or, you know, definitely the, the same caliber as these guys, but we're talking white lips today. So uh, definitely that color, that shimmer, that shine, the camera's picking it up, go. Really, really beautiful snakes. Um, but also, um, these guys are known to have somewhat of a bad temperament. However, not all of them. As you can see, Aurora's pretty chill. Um, I've never had any issues with her at all, at all, at all. And just really, really placid, laid back, eating good, as you can see. She's really chunky right here. All right, so hopefully that's better. I had to turn it down. There we go. You guys can see her a little bit better. There we go. But anyways, outside of that beautiful color, there are a few characteristics that I do like about the snake. Obviously, their name is White Lip Python, so they're going to have that really nice white face. If I can get her. I'll probably have to throw some B-roll in here so you guys can see her, maybe even some pictures. Um, but they have that really beautiful, nice white face. Um, now, Aurora here is uh, what's called a northern white lip python. So, northerns are going to have that dark upside, that uh, the yellow sides right here under that darkness, and then that all white underbelly with you know the dark head and the white lips. There's also a golden phase, which I just kind of found a little more, found out a little more about recently. Um, there's golden phase white lip pythons, um, which I thought they were just you know really bright golden northerns however um, a lot of people that I've talked to have been working from for, working with them for a while so they're their own snake I don't think they're their own species I don't know if it's a selectively bred thing or what but anyways there's a golden phase white lip python where literally the snake is that entire golden color with that dark head and the white lips and then we have the cream of the crop um, which is something that i would love to have eventually in the future which is the southern white lip python now the southern white lip python has that dark color all the way around still has that white underbelly but it's more of a black and then they have the same thing the dark head with the white lips so they are very very beautiful very beautiful snakes now the thing about these snakes is that they are not consistently bred in captivity on you know so a lot of the ones that come in are imports and a lot of you probably know who have dealt with this nine times out of ten if you get one of those guys you got to take it to the vet you got to get it treated and get it tested which i think you should do regardless but these guys specifically because they usually come in with parasites and things of that nature and it's it's very stressful so if you are looking to getting a white lip python i definitely think you should go the captive route or maybe find a long-term long -term captive animal, um, one that's already been established because getting one in as a baby, oh, you're gonna have a lot of problems uh, just getting it established. Uh, they don't seem to really weather well during shipping and I've dealt with it myself. Um, and they're not they're not cheap. Um, this is a Northern and you know, these guys can range from like, you know, four to $500 all the way up to like 1500 bucks. And then when you look at to the Southerns, Southerns usually start off at like 1800 and go even higher. So it's definitely something to consider when getting into white lips because if you're paying that type of money, obviously you want a very healthy animal. So um, I urge you to make sure you do your research. The only person that I know of that has uh, bred Northerns is gonna be Ryan Young over at Molecular Reptile. That is where I got my Southern scrub python from. 
Um, I don't know if he's had any recent clutches or anything, but that's the only person that comes to mind. I'm not saying he's the only uh, Southern or white lip Python breeder. That's just the only person that I know of. Um, but outside of that, these guys make great snakes. They do get pretty decent size. Um, Northerns here usually get around that six to eight foot mark where Southerns get closer to that, you know, eight to nine in some 10 foot range. Um, obviously, just like most other snakes, females are gonna get bigger, um, which Aurora is a female. And they're just very, very beautiful snakes. She's got her arm gripping, grip, or her leg, her, she's got her tail gripping my arm pretty good right now. Um, but I really just kind of wanted to get on here and discuss that because I've been getting a lot of questions. I actually had a friend reach out to me last week to see if I know anyone that has any Northerns available. Unfortunately, I don't, at least not any healthy ones. Um, and I would never recommend any unhealthy snakes, white lip pythons or anything to anyone. But um, that's this is my opinion again, guys. Um, so white lip pythons, definitely, I think the snake to have in 2023 um and i know i'm probably gonna get the question i'm wearing the glove because i was cleaning cages so that's all that is but she's very very placid animal very beautiful there we go there's the head and i just i can't wait to see her really big in a big enclosure i would love to have another i would love to have a pair of northerns and a pair of southerns hopefully in the future that's something that uh, we can make happen but for now i just got my one little girl here and yeah that is it guys so drop questions down below comments down below let me know what you guys think of white lip pythons are they one of your favorite snakes are they in your top list of snakes to have definitely beautiful do you know of any snakes that you think are prettier than white lip pythons we can discuss it down below make sure you guys hit that like button i really appreciate it it helps my helps my channel out hit that subscribe button for me i'm back on my youtube game really trying to pump out those videos and keep growing my channel um and just let me know how you guys like the video make sure you guys hit me up or follow me on instagram at the snake guide you guys know the name change is official we're here the snake guide i'll make sure i put something right here so you guys can see and it's on youtube as well and um i hope you guys have a good one